such a good puppy. Oh, hey there. Don't you hate it when you're spooning with your dog? And she just smells so awful and disgusting. Let's go give her a bath. I'll show you how. Come on, babe. Before we can wash our dog, we must first understand the dog's smell level chart. Let's take a look. Here on the y-axis, we have the dog's smell level. Despicable, McNasty, Nasty, Okay, Good, Super Good. And here on the x-axis, we have happiness of owner. Not, kinda, indifferent, and very happy. As you can see, we have a line here, and it meets right here at a point we like to call the bath point. This is where the owner is very happy, and the dog smells very good. To complete the perfect dog bath, what you're gonna need is a dog, some shampoo, and a towel. Also, a bath would help. Let's go up there. Follow me. The first and hardest step about washing a dog is getting it to get into the place you're gonna wash it. I'll do this by enticing her with treats. Come on, babe. Let's go take a bath. Get in the bath, babe. We're gonna have a good time. Look at that. She is so easily fooled and so naive and stupid. Eat the treat, babe. Nummy. Some dogs have super neat collars, and you don't want to get those wet because it might ruin the collar. So, we're going to take the collars off of our dogs. Our dogs may look nude with our collars, but that's okay because they're taking a bath. Now, we need to rinse our dog because you cannot wash a dog when it is not wet. Watch as I rinse my dog. She loves it so much. You want to be careful to avoid shaking because when dogs shake, it sends the water all over the place. Also, you're going to want to make sure that the water is set at an appropriate temperature for your dog. Too hot, and it might injure your dog. Ow. Too cold, it might make your dog cold. Brr. I'm going to wash my dog with Suave Shampoo, daily clarifying. This is a really good shampoo because it also has a little bit of conditioner mixed in and it'll make my pup extra soft. Now, what we're gonna wanna do is pour the soap on the dog. I like to start at the top of the head and go all the way to the booty and just put some nice lines of shampoo there. Now, next step is to rub that pup. Let's start lathering the shampoo in. The shaking's fun because it sends everything in my face. Let's lather the dog. Ah, very nice. As you see, at this point, the dog starts to enjoy the bath because it is getting rubbed down oh so good. Make sure to take some of the shampoo that is on its back and bring it down to the underside. Also, get the armpits because much like humans, dogs' armpits are very smelly. Get those pits. The tail is also a problem area. So you're gonna wanna get that real nice. Very good. Now, we need to rinse the shampoo off of our dog, because if you leave the shampoo on too long, it'll go into the dog's skin and dry up and make it super itchy, which isn't fun for dogs. Watch as I rinse her hair. I'm pulling her hair back against the grain of motion, and also moving the shower head with it, as to carefully get out all the shampoo. Now that your pup is nice and squeaky clean, we're gonna wanna dry him off. Dogs typically love this step the most, and see as Bay gets oh so excited to get dried off. Look at her excitement. Let's dry you off now, puppy. My favorite method is to drape and rub. What you do is you drape the whole towel all over the dog's body so that only its nose is sticking out, and then you just start rubbing so well. Dogs really love this step. It's a great bonding experience. I would highly recommend it. Again, you're going to want to dry really thoroughly, get the face, and just get the pits, keep going, get that hiney, because we're going to want it shiny. And also get the tail. And just like that, your dog is ready to spoon again. And this time, she's going to smell so nice.